Now I'm going to demonstrate conservation of momentum, but you need two bodies to demonstrate that. So I'm going to bring in undergraduate Sina. Hello, world. Uh, okay, so Sina should be studying English Lit or some lesser subject right now, but I asked him, he agreed to come do, do this demo with me. I was actually void into doing this, yeah, no, for the record. No, 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 this is total voluntary. So what we're going to do is we're going to be on our little carts here, and Sina will be here, all happy undergraduate, and I will be here. I've seen some stuff, you know, I've been... I've been through it. So neither one of us are going to be moving. Zero velocity, so our momentum is zero. My momentum is zero, his momentum is zero, the total momentum is zero. But then we're going to push off of each other and see what happens. All right, so let's line these up here like this. Let's get back on yours. And uh, three, two, one. All right. So after we pushed, we both started moving. Right? We've got a velocity. So Sina is going this way with what we'll call V Sina. And I am going this way with what we'll call VJ, V for Jason. Now, it looks like we've created momentum. It looks like we forgot to conserve momentum. How do we explain this, Sina? Well, momentum actually adds like a vector, as you see by the arrows on top of the labels. Right. So it doesn't add like a scalar. So MV Jason plus MV Cena must be zero. But right, since they're opposite directions, if you did it in 1D, you would think of one as negative. You could say minus M, the magnitude of my velocity, if I call me the negative direction, plus the magnitude of Cena's velocity, if you call him the positive direction, would be equal to zero. Right? Yes, it's because momentum adds as a vector, right? What did I do? Oh, I left off my notation, exactly. And Cena needs that because he's about to tell us, calculate for us. It looked like we went about the same speed, but should we go the same speed? What speed should we both be going here? Well, right. let's see how much freshman physics I remember. Yeah. So we have this other side. We have mass of Jason. Right. Mass of Cena. So you should have been going how fast? Solve for you. Cena, right, ah, so his velocity should have been a factor of the ratio of our masses uh, more than my velocity. So now we've got to get a little bit personal, the ratio of our masses, I don't know if we want to get into this, here whisper how much do you weigh right now, yeah, okay, yeah, we'll have a little more, a little more. So this factor here is about 1.15, so we would say that uh, my velocity with a cursive J, they don't teach cursive anymore, uh, would be one, or his velocity would be 1.15 times uh, my velocity, like that. So that's not a huge noticeable difference. You know, if you watch closely, you might be able to tell that he was recoiling faster than I was. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gain 30 pounds real quick. Now, one way would be, where should we go eat real quick? Waterburger. Okay, camera Good guy stop. can stay. We'll go to Waterburger. No, let's not do that. What I'll do is I'll throw on 30 kilos of, of weight onto my my cart. So let's reset up. Burger. And now with an extra 30 kilos, that ratio should go up quite a bit. And hopefully you'll be able to see that Cena does indeed move quite a bit faster. I'm also going to push him really hard, so that will also help. Let's see. All right. No, I can't get sideways. Here we go. Let's reline it up. Three, two, one. There you go. He went much faster than I did. 